What's up, Mena Nerds? This video is all about the Calhoun, the poisonous arthropods that almost killed Padme. They originate from the planet Iduamodo, where they nested in hollow trees, and were known to hunt down dog-sized creatures. And they weren't just defending their home, these terrifying little creatures would go out and actually hunt down larger animals, using either their tail stinger, which had a little bit less poison and was great to stun its prey, or just use its forward mandibles that were covered in a fast-acting nerve toxin that could kill its target in a matter of seconds. These two traits, their aggressive nature that will seek out targets, and this deadly poison, are why they became a useful tool in many bounty hunters' arsenals. To make it even better, in human-sized creatures, this poison would break down so quick that it was nearly untraceable, and the damage that it did on the cardiovascular system made it appear like the victim died of a heart attack. At 30 centimeters, or just under a foot long, it was easily concealable and wouldn't be picked up on sensors that were trying to detect assassin droids. It's important to remember that security forces were sweeping more for electronics or explosive devices, and had to constantly worry about assassin probes and all of the various other types of assassin droids, and so there were many times when a small organic creature might be the best way to slip past security. The Calhoun was also easy to maintain, where you could just fill a cylinder with some sand that it could submerge itself in in order to feel protected, and they could be raised in any environment except for extreme cold. In 22 BBY, Jango Fett gave a pair of these to Zam Wessel, which she loaded into the ASN courier droid, which then inserted them into Padme Amidala's apartment. R2 may have sensed some movement, or maybe heard the sounds of their numerous legs, but after a quick search he couldn't see anything, and Padme was seconds away from death if it wasn't for the keen Jedi senses of Obi-Wan and Anakin. But although that might be the most famous story involving these creatures, there is a lesser known story of how they influenced a young Darth Malgus. Before he was a Sith Lord, his name was Veridun, and he was raised by his adoptive father, who was a biologist in the Imperial Science Bureau. This is around the year 3700 BBY, on the capital of the reconstituted Sith Empire, Andromon Kos. As a child, his father gave him a tour of an Imperial Zoo to teach him lessons on personal conduct, deception, and expectations. For the rest of his life, Darth Malgus would remember the lesson with the Calhoun, when Vera Dunn's adopted father said that the Calhoun teaches us that senseless savagery is the province of animals, not men. He learned to be as powerful as some of these beasts in nature, but to apply his abilities intelligently and not like a wild, murderous animal. So that's it for its history, but you definitely want to hear these cool facts and behind the scenes stuff. On Earth, there are many types of poisonous centipedes, ranging from just being painful to being actually dangerous, though most are not considered to be fatal to humans. These were CGI, but to make their sounds, they squished the inside of a grapefruit, and the leg sounds were made by running a stick across a rigid metal surface. So that's it for the Cowhun Assassin Bug. If you want to connect with us, help support this channel, or get your own copies of the reference material used in this video, be sure to check out the links in the description. Special shout out to our supporters over on Patreon, and be sure to like and subscribe, or click on one of these cards to see more content like this. But most important of all, remember, Assassins come in many forms, and the Force will be with you, always.